Hello to everyone who watches this video. As usual, we are very glad to see you on our channel. I came to the next search for antiques. Today I will be alone. My friend caught a cold, so he stayed home. I am now in the forest, and here I will probably begin. I will not be able to walk up and down the hills for a long time because it is tiring. Then I will go down and leave the forest on the field. I do not know how interesting this field is, because I have never looked there. I think that finds will certainly occur from time to time. Stay with us and watch this video to the end. I will start. I found the first find. Look, this is probably a very old buckle or horse harness element. I am more inclined to believe that this is a buckle. Let's clean this thing up a bit. This product is clearly not the whole. Something else is missing here. Great find. Another signal sounded. I dug a hole and got a find. We see a yellow Soviet coin of an early period. Let's look at the year of release. After cleaning, the state of the coin made me happy. These are three copics of 1930. Good coin. In forest soil, coins are usually well preserved. Usually only my friend uses the pin pointer. I have never used this to this day. Today I decided to try. Pin pointer, this is a fairly convenient device for detecting small metal objects. It is a bit uncomfortable for me because my second hand is holding the camera. If I had a third hand, it would be perfect. I found another coin. Let's clean it up. It's 15 kopecks of 1946. This coin, too, as you see, has been preserved well. It acquired a pleasant smooth patina while lying in the ground. I already dug another signal some time later. I'm trying to get used to the pin pointer, and I get it pretty successfully. Now, with this device. I began to quickly determine the location of finds. This time, I seem to have found another yellow Soviet coin. Let's take a closer look. We see two coal back of 1936. The state of the find is just perfect. As if the coin only yesterday went beyond the mint. I would really like to find two coal backs of 1927 in the same excellent condition. Who doesn't know? Two Kopecks of the USSR of 1927 are incredibly rare, but nevertheless some comrades managed to find some.
какая красота здесь. After the forest, I went out onto the field and began to search there. But this did not last long, because the soil on the field after heavy rain turned into a real mud bath. I returned to the forest, walked around a high hill and came to this place. It was not in vain that I went down to this swamp, because here I was waiting for a reward in the form of a scattering of coins. The signal was pretty scattered. I dug a hole and I could not believe my eyes. Initially, I was waiting on some kind of garbage, but then, looking more closely, I realized that these were coins. Together with a bunch of a ground, I got about a dozen coins. We have a scattering of nine coins. It seems that these are medieval European coins. Most likely someone once lost the wallet when he sat down to rest in this place. Or maybe these coins just spilled out of pocket. Maybe it's someone's cash? I don't know. Most probably not. Nine coins. This is pretty small for a cash. It's just randomly lost coins. Let's go and wash it all in some kind of puddle. I'm at home now. Now we see my find and purified form. All of these coins are made of silver, and they are pretty well preserved. This is a very pleasant find, although it is not very large. It made that cloudy day happy. Let's finish this expedition. I had a great day and found a very pleasant find. I have not been so happy for a long time. I wish you more often to experience such emotions from the search. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel, click on the likes and write nice comments below. Also do not forget to share this video on social networks and with friends. We wish you all the best. Goodbye.